grants of if the legislature is in our constitution. Uh, myself, I began working in the library in 93 and uh, for mostly doing cultural events and book sales and you know a lot of uh, just activities that the library was uh, was sponsoring and we try to support uh, such as the reading programs and the uh, summer con uh, contests in the summer for poetry. The friends supported that because there were funds that required candy uh, uh, people, these uh, youth, for their activities. I mean, paying for their for the contest for the poetry and also the reading program. Uh, we we've done special events with uh, the Fluellen their anniversary, which uh, not the anniversary, but we had a, an event this year where we had the family here and uh, we recognized the family and the, the archive and everything that was involved in that. Um, uh, the friends recently, uh, two, uh, a couple of years ago, we uh, the historical marker that you see outside the uh, building. The friends uh, were the first one of the organization that made that happen, and that that uh, particular marker marked an important part of our history because what it did, it, we, we brought together a lot of the businesses in, the, in East Cleveland to support that because that, that market wasn't free. We had to pay for it. We tried to get funds but we didn't we didn't make the uh, we didn't make it. So we had to raise the funds and some of those businesses were like Needle Force, Happy's, Dave's, General Electric, Clean the Clinic. We brought these organizations into the uh, into what we were doing here to uh, to uh, make that happen, make that market happen. Of course you look at some of those names, particularly GE the marker is for our hundred, the 100th year anniversary of this library. GE, 100 years ago, contributed major uh, contributions to the library, which were light fixtures. At, at that time, that was a big deal. So uh, 100 years later, they contributed again. So building those bridges in the community is, is very important. One of the bonds that we, that we uh, Built was with the uh, the November family, Iris and Mort November. Their major contributors to the expansion that we did in the front of the library. Um, and through this support of them, we've got we've been able to solidify that to the point where recently Mort died. Past uh, I believe it was last year. The friends always make a contribution to that family, whatever their charity is. And they told us to donate it to the library. So um, that just shows the bonds that we, we try to build and continue to build. Uh, uh, over the past three or four years, we have focused our attention a lot, uh, our fundraisers, on cultural events because we have a, a lot of cultural <laughs> Uh, attributes that we can uh, tap into in the city. So uh, the cultural events were some of the things that we uh, wanted to do and we have become partners with different cultural organizations in the, in the neighborhood. Uh, one of the more prominent ones is the African American Cultural Garden uh, organization which is the cultural gardens out here in the, on, the, on Martin Luther King. We partner with them that we have sponsored with them twice a year. We've, we've had sponsored with them for the past two years. So um, those partnerships, along with uh, other promotional organizations in the neighborhood like Naji, uh, we brought major musicians, local recording artists here to the, to the library. Those were bonds that we tried to do. Some of the things we're doing in the present, uh, we continue on with our activities with book sales, uh, the summer program. Um, uh, I, there's, there's a number of things I couldn't remember, couldn't recall all of them. The theater party, the, there's, there's a number of things that we try to do to make sure uh, we stay vibrant. Uh, and more and more, uh, latest project is the East Cleveland Community Arts Mentorship Program, ECAMP. Uh, ECAMP, uh, we, this year, we, um, we is, ECAMP is a volunteer organization which consists of parents, students, and staff at Shaw High School. Uh, 
And uh, what we do, we bring them here after school and uh, we have mentors that uh, work with these students. And also uh, we have uh, 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 the parents, it's a key part of that. So we try to have the parents involved with that also. Last year we had a total of 15 students and we plan on expanding on that. Now in our second year, uh, we wanted this program to be uh, more sustainable, so we applied for some grants. Uh, we applied for a $10,000 grant, we got most of it, and because they saw the potential of what we were trying to do at ECAMP, which was, again, East Cleveland Community, Min Community Arts Mentorship Program, where we bring in selected artists, selected musicians, to work with these students to not only teach them their craft, but also to mentor them. So um, that's one of the big things that we're doing now. Uh, a big step uh, was to, uh, to to sustain that momentum was to get this get this uh, grant, and we did receive that. We got we didn't get all of it. We got most of it. Uh, this year, going forward, East Cleveland schools will play a very important part of what we're doing because we not only uh, want to expand the the, uh, the mentors that's gonna work with these students, but we know we're gonna expand the students. So the, uh, uh, just the 15 we had last year, we may, we see potential almost doubling that. So um, we need to work a lot more closer with the school system to make sure uh, we try to get this incorporated in the system. We, all this after school program and uh, what we do is very important. Uh, particularly uh, uh, music, uh, how, in, how it uh, impacts students on a long-term basis. Most students that, that become musicians, not only do they graduate, most of them go to college. And they do well in school, they, they're more engaged in school. And I, I, I know this talking about uh, Ms. Corley over there, we had a conference with her and she recognized that she's a musician, she knows that the importance of music, music to students and engaging them in activities, getting involved in activities in school uh, is, is, plays a big part in what, what uh, they do as, as students and future adults. Um, the future, one of the things that we want to do in the future, we're, we're looking into more uh, long-term plans. Uh, we want to uh, get a, more like a five-year plan where we want to have bring in major artists uh, to have concerts uh, uh, because that facility up there, we've had concerts in that facility up there where uh, we know the musicians are world class musicians. Some of them are you know, they're on the night show now. They they lead the shows and they actually performed up there and they told us this is a this is a top notch facility. One of the one of the artists, Sean Jones, told us. This is the best one in the city. And he knows, he travels the world. So we need to take advantage of that, uh, and we can, and we're working on that. Uh, so our, our, one of our long-term goals is to get some kind of long-term grant to make sure that there's always something going on in the world. In that so we'd like, to, in the future, one of the things, we want to be more collaborative with other organizations outside of us, uh, such as we work with Tri-C, uh, getting them